I think this was a worthy study. The Board of Selectmen agreed that exploring a potential merger between the Hopkinton and Ashland Fire Department was a good study, but based on the reaction at public forums and the general feeling towards the plan in both towns, that the plan for collaboration should go no further. We were looking into it as a money-saving measure where we could maintain our current level of service or get better services for equal or lesser money. Uh, you know, the deeper and deeper we got into this, you know, I started hearing people coming away from meetings saying, well, you know, we're not looking into this, you know, to save money. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> we are, you know, I mean, we, of course, public safety was uh, paramount, but the reason we were looking into this was to save money. The more information we got, it didn't seem like that was really going to pan out, uh, or there was some pretty great risk at it, you know, kind of being a break even or costing more. Uh, it seemed like we were going to be adding management layers uh, as well as putting uh, a lot more boots on the ground when you combine both both departments together, and it just didn't seem like um, it was going to be anything that we couldn't accomplish on our own for equal or lesser money. Uh, so as we as we go through this, uh, you know, I think again it was a worthwhile effort. Um, I'm glad we did it. Uh, you know, to you know there were there were. A lot of critics in the beginning who thought that we were going to go into this and then just try to jam it down uh, everybody's throats and make it happen. Uh, you know, I think that you know, this is a great example of something where we actually are going out there. We're, you know, we're studying it, and you know, we find that no, it's not something that that uh, we want to pursue. And at this point, it's time to try to unwind it all. Roy McDowell of Legacy Farms gave an update on development, adding to the 730-acre site. Wanted to give you an update in our uh, process of attempting to go to town meeting this spring for a 180 units of age restricted in place of 200,000 square feet of commercial space on the north side of Legacy Farms, uh, just beyond uh, Rafferty Road. Uh, over the last couple of months, we've gone to the Zoning Advisory Committee, spent some time there, and got approval to move forward to the Planning Board. <clears throat> And uh, we've spent uh, a number of meetings at the planning board. Uh, I will say so far, I think we've gotten a very positive response from the planning board. I believe they're meeting again on March 23rd. We're hoping to get a positive vote out of the planning board to go to town meeting at that time. And I just want to give you that update, hoping to secure the support of the selectmen going forward to town meeting. If the project gets approval at town meeting as part of the host community agreement, approximately $1.8 million would go to the town. Part of 360000 of that would be going to the fire department, various life safety issues in town, and a million five hundred thousand dollars would be going toward downtown improvements and uh, towards expanding the trail system throughout Hopkinton. Now, the, these are choices that were made, I believe, by the selectmen. However, we'd be giving you the money to use at your discretion. And uh, I think, as you know, we tried to do this last year, and I think we need to do a better job, frankly, this year of outreach to the neighbors and the community as a whole and getting a much better understanding with people so they're very clear and cognizant of everything we're trying to do and all the positive attributes. Of course, the funding of the million five is something new and was not there last year, and I think that's an also another positive attribute. As part of further developments set to take place at Legacy Farms, Roy mentioned building on the North Road could start by April 1st, and the planned completion date is Thanksgiving. The goal is to probably start as soon as the snow is gone, so we're projecting, depending on weather, next two or three weeks. Wow. So we'll have significant activity out there by the 1st of April, and the, the goal is to get the road completed by Thanksgiving or substantially completed by then.